Rocket one. Rocket two. Last rocket loaded. Here goes nothing. Take this, you fucking cock! Welcome back my friends to the second part of episode 9 of Let's Play Funtime Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. Heading up the ladder we'll get up to the walkway and skew to our right and head towards the staircase but not before deviating to the left to snag our first treasure of the episode. Continuing upward we'll make our way towards the end, <laughs> narrowly avert death by falling boat and pass the corner right at the end of the bend to once again collect another trinket. Now we'll head over to the suspended boat to begin making our Fuck! Still alive, we'll head up the rope and tippy-toe along the crane shaft to make our way to the balcony area, up the ladder and shimmy along to the right to slip in amongst the congregation of crates. Sneaking up to take cover along the wall, we see our very first contestant of our massacre will engender throughout the episode. Oh my god, that Kenny is such a beast. He knows how sensitive I am about my bottom and he posts photos of it on Facebook. Ugh, that does it. Starting Monday, I'm going to go down to my gym, sign up, do some treadmill weights and pumps. Stop using your phone at work, you fuckhead. With this one taken out, we'll strong arm our way to run up along the next shipping freights and notice another pirate blocking the path ahead. But as he's enjoying the serenity of the view a little too much and has yet to spot us, we'll take him out quietly. <laughs> With a Para 9 and a frag now in our arsenal, we'll head over the rest of the freights in our way to drop down and get full stock of some Cal 7 ammo to prepare for the skirmish that waits up ahead. Ready to proceed, we'll hop over the bar and take cover to plan our mode of attack. Okay. Okay. Just as I suspected, there's people on this boat. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, shit. Ah, me! Oh. So much for stealth! Finding ourselves stuck in a jam, we need to cut through our opposition as quick as we can before we- Whoa! Oh, come the fuck on! Tying down rope is only 10 bucks a roll at Bunnings, you fucking stupid- <laughs> Cunt. Now we have a bit of a road bump and a half ahead where we're about to get ambushed by a heavily armoured trooper packing a huge ass gun that'll tear us apart in a few hits, as well as ditching multiple grenades in our direction at once. Now there are two key tips to get through this nice and quick. Don't climb up on anything high, and don't stay out of cover too long. And actually, don't think you can bombard him with headshots because it's the strongest reinforced part of his armour, so aim directly at his torso and use a few grenades if you need to in order to take him out nice and fast, whilst letting him come to you. Once he's dusted, we'll pick up his Pack 80 machine gun and cut sick with a predictable administration of death to all the other idiots around him. Before heading through the door, we'll climb up on the nearest freight and run to the end to scam the next treasure of the episode, and then continue to proceed. Spamming the triangle button, we'll pass through into the leisure area and play with ourselves in the pool. Marco! What did you think I meant? You sick-minded little bastards. Ha, <laughs> jokes. But not really. Mental debauchery aside, we'll jump out of the pool and skew left to nab the next treasure in our path and proceed to pass through the revolving door right into the lion's den. Right into the lion's den. First things first, we'll deal with this dickhead relaxing on a job and be sure to do it quietly. All fucking righty, I got all my songs loaded for my shift. All 6,785 songs ready to go for a long journey to- No! You know, it's funny, I have that many songs on my iPod as well, but you know, I only ever listen to all of them when I decide to run for six fucking weeks. iPod fail. Now, this lion's den is one of the most challenging firefights in the entire game, so playing this stealthy is of the utmost importance. Impossible! Just impossible! Because the game wants you to be seen at this point, which flat out fucking sucks. So, the best strategy is to fight smart and use cover wisely to avoid getting killed at all costs. However, the best tactic when you're down by the performing stage is to be sure to stick to cover and eliminate the snipers and grenadier at the very top before you deal with all the immediate resistance. And now we're left with lucky last Curtis. Hey Curtis, I'll give you 20 bucks if you run to the stage in less than 5 seconds. Ha <laughs> ha! I win! Looks like you owe me 20 bucks, my man. Cha-ching, you stupid fuck. And with these Neanderthals dealt with, we'll head up the steps and notice a trio of pirates preparing to breach the closed door to make us pay. So we need to be cautious about this. And exercise stranger danger. Who's there? Pirates. pirates. Well, what nice pirates you are. Come the fuck in. Throw! 
Quick, duck and cover! Ah! Nice guys finished dead! Nice guys finished dead, fuckhead. Leaving behind our dead, we'll press forward, collect some more ammo, and loop around to the right side of the hallway to collect yet another treasure. Looping back around the hall until we come to a stealthy walk, we'll sneak up on the oblivious to all the noise that happened just moments ago pirate, who's guarding the doorway up ahead. And fittingly, it's dark, it's mildly scary, and anything could happen now, couldn't it? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Can't forget this shit now, can I? <laughs> anyway. Man, these guys picked the worst possible week to do Opposite Wednesday. Taking the dropped grenade, we'll enter the cabin and immediately sight a solitary pirate patrolling the next room. So let's deal with him, shall we? Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Missed! Time for your tea break. Hmm, that table looks good. Fucking eat it! Haha, <laughs> yummy. And with our deceased friend here on a permanent dinner break, we'll pick up the treasure nestled behind the bar while knocking over a featherweight plasma TV in the process. Proceeding through the door, we can see the silhouette of another patrolling pirate, so we'll take cover beside the wall and prepare to make our move. I do hope that Nick got my Facebook photos. That little piggy needs to hit the gym and burn some fat off those love hands. No! Ouch! Latest status update. Just got head caved in. You know, sadly, my mum doesn't have Facebook. Leaving this business behind, we'll head up the end of the hallway, pass through the door, and descend down the stairs to the cargo bay. Underneath the stairs amongst the loaded pallets, we'll collect the next treasure before proceeding into the belly of the cargo hold. Here he is. Yeah, lardy fucking da, let's just get him. But hang on, we've also got another treasure to collect right to our immediate left. You'd think that being on a fucking pirate ship, at least one of them would have spotted all the relics we've picked up so far. Continuing on, we'll vault onto the support, shimmy around, and drop down carefully to the bottom and collect some more ammo right before heading up to the captive Sully. Rap. Sully? He's not here. Oh, I wonder what gave that away. Oh. That's right guys, our entire crusade has been in vain, as we now see that Ramsey's lied all along, and Sully is indeed nowhere to be found on this ship. And, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty fucking pissed. Sora! And as chapter 15 begins, we're pinned down by a shitload of gunfire and we need to get out of here as quick as we can. But unfortunately for the car next to us, it has the wrong idea of how to go about it. I need to get out of here. I know, I could submarine my way out. Ha <laughs> ha! See you later, you stupid. <laughs> Fucking tosser. But seriously, how cool would it be to have a car that's alive? Shredding through the immediate resistance, we'll swing around the corner and take out the shielded pirate and steal his barricade to use for ourselves and guard our position until... No, no, no! no. We go for a little bit of a swim. Paddling forward, we'll climb up to the capsized boxes and go through the hallway to try and descend through the door. Oh shit. Not too much of a drop, should be fine. Shit! Oh, I'm not fine. Ah oh, crap, it's flooding. Gotta go! Oh, come on! Oh. Fuck! Fuck! Oh come on! Okay, if you want to stay alive, you better mash the fuck out of that triangle button. Take a bit of a breather up, and then swim down towards the vent, rip it off using the triangle button again, then swim through the cavity and come out to the other side. <coughs> oh man, fuck this shit with a 10 inch pecker. Oh man, you gotta be kidding, right? HOLY SHIT! This is fucked. At the end of the hall, head up the hanging rope, scale the wall, head through the open door, up the bookcase, and then through the next open door to collect the next treasure. Once we've done that, we'll head up another bookcase and then crack a path through another door until we come to the outside of the capsized ship, where we can finally make a getaway. Steadily tiptoeing along the base floor, we'll make it to the other side and hop the woodwork to make it to what we can expect to be a customer elevator. And it is. Kicking which floor we want to go to, we can relax for a brief moment amidst the chaos around us. I blessed rains down in Africa. Africa. Gonna take some time to do the things we never had. Oh, what? Shit, no, no, no! Oh, come on! Oh, well, 
That wasn't too bad! Ah! Fuck! Oh. Catching onto the chandelier, we'll head down to the first circle and leap to take hold of the rope. Oh shit. Ah! Yes, you can. Hanging on for our life, we can gain a bit of velocity to swing backwards and then jump onto the ornamental base across from us. Haha! <laughs> Eat shit. After all that racket, we'll dust ourselves off and make for a clean breakout through the nearest hallway. Fuck! Yes! See you in hell, Habibi! Well, it appears we have to run like fuck. Ugh. Is he son of a bitch! Ugh. Shit! You know, I said it in France, and I'm gonna say it right now again. I'm never coming back here ever again! Lucky for him, Drake washes up on the beachfront of Yemen and after composing himself, returns to Elena's apartment where the pair have a heartfelt reunion of sorts. I thought this was frowned upon. Shut up. Anyway, Elena reveals that although Marlo and Talbot have Sully in their position and are miles away in the Arabian desert, she and Drake can play it smart and secretly board a cargo plane taking off the next morning that will drop supplies to them via air. Immediately after, they'll parachute down and take their saved Sully Brigade right into the heart of the Atlantis of the Sands, but not before catching up on some much needed rest where he apologises to Elena after seeing the ring on her finger once again. I'm sorry. I know. But fuck poignance as the two head in early in the morning to Yemen airport packing silenced pistols in preparation for their mission to sneak aboard the cargo plane. And with part 2 coming to a close, that concludes our epic ninth episode of Let's Play Funtime Uncharted 3. As always guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching the video and if you did, show that like button some love and maybe, just maybe, spill some of that love over onto the favourite button as well. And if you're new to our channel from watching the last couple of videos we've put out, I humbly welcome you and I hope you join those who have been here already to stick with us and enjoy what videos the Dart Podcast keep making for you guys. And if you don't want to miss any videos we bring out, feel free to click our Facebook and Twitter links in the description and join the party. This is Rage Leopard saying, I used to be a Let's Player, but then I took an arrow to the part of my brain that can't think of a better joke. I shall entertain you again soon.